This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and my Today's Racing Digest video series continues. Saturday, June 30th, 2018, we're going to do the 10th race from Woodbine. That's going to be the $1 million Queen's Plate. That's for three-year-olds fold in Canada and they're going to be traveling a mile and a quarter on the all-weather surface and we have a 16-horse field. And your three favorites in here in, in this 2018 edition of the Queen's Plate, Telekinesis number 10 is your morning line favorite. Then your other two favorites, uh, Wonder Godot number 11, Dixie Moon number 7. And if we pull up the race header right now, you'll see that the three favorites are solid contenders on today's Racing Digest numbers. First, we're going to look at the fire number. The fire number, a number exclusive to today's Racing Digest, is speed throughout a race. And you can see uh, right with the fire number that Telekinesis has a 106 fire number. And then Dixie Moon uh, and uh, Wonder Godot, they both have 104s. So they're solid threats on numbers. Uh, the next set of numbers we're going to look at, uh, jump over to line four, you'll see that highlighted. It'll say RCL. Uh, RCL is the class level uh, that the horses have been running at. Uh, and then uh, we're going to add that to the CPR. Now the CPR for today's Racing Digest, again, a number exclusive to today's Racing Digest and one of their most important numbers. The CPR stands for Comprehensive Performance Rating. It takes into account pace, final time, and closing fraction. And if we add up the class level that the horses have been running at, with their CPR numbers, uh, you'll see, again, uh, Wonder Godot, uh, Dixie Moon, uh, Telekinesis, they're, they're pretty closely matched on those numbers. Now we're going to jump over to line 7. Now line 7 is the running style. And you'll see in this 16-horse field, we have five horses uh, that have been designated uh, with the letter F. Now the letter F for today's Racing Digest, uh, for running style purposes, is, is front runner. So we have five front runners in this uh, edition of the Queen's Plate. Number two, Cooler Mike is one that likes to show speed. Number three, Inge. Number five, Silent Poet. Uh, and then jump down to number 10, Telekinesis. And then number 13, Marriage Counselor. So all those horses are capable of showing speed. Another important number, if you buy the complete digest for Woodbine and for other tracks, uh, today's Racing Digest will, will mention Fastest in the Stretch. And that's going to give you the horses that have, been, have run fastest in the stretch in their most recent starts. Now, the horses that are fastest in the stretch in this edition of the Queen's Plate, Wonder Godot, can finish up in 24.2. And then you have Dixie Moon, 24.3, Nipawa, uh, number 14, 24.3. So all those horses are capable of finishing up. And if we get a lively pace, like it looks on paper, any of those horses could end up closing and, and getting the job done in here. Now I've narrowed down, after looking at all the Today's Racing Digest numbers, I've narrowed this down to, to six solid contenders in here, and uh, they'll be number four, Strike Me Down, number seven, uh, Dixie Moon, number nine, Say the Word, number ten, Telekinesis, number eleven, Wonder Godot, number fourteen, Nepawa. Let's talk about those six horses, beginning with number four, Strike Me Down. Strike Me Down, ten to one, morning line for trainer Graham Motion. Jose Ortiz is going to ride. Good jockey trainer team here. They're twelve for forty together. And Grand Motion is a 26% synthetic route trainer. So he has good set, uh, jockey trainer team stats and, and trainer stats in his corner. Uh, this one jumped up to the 160 class level last time out and got a 133 CPR. Strong pedigree here as well. Tap it, the sire. Smart strike, the damn sire. Certainly bred to go on. Now if you look at his today's Racing Digest number patterns, he improved his CPR, pace, and final ratings in all four starts. And he also graduated in a dirt route, at, I mean, in a synthetic route at Woodbine. So we know he, he handles the track. He's lightly raced. He's improving. Good connections. 10 to 1. He looks like a live price player in here. Number 7, Dixie Moon. The sire is Curlin. Dan Sire Rahi. Certainly able to get this distance, I think. One of the fastest in the stretch. Earned a 144 CPR in her last two starts. Eureka Rosa da Silva is going to ride back. She's got some tactical speed, so I think she's going to sit behind the speed horses and try to get the first run. Number nine, Say the Word, at 20 to 1 morning line. Looks interesting. Another one for trainer, Graham Motion. Now this one, last time out, got a 135 CPR at Woodbine on May 27th. Also, if you go a couple starts back, this one graduated at Keeneland in a turf route at a mile and 3 sixteenths. And that was his best career effort. So the longer the better, I think, for this one. Handles the synthetic round, 20 to 1, could spice up the exotics. Telekinesis number 10, one that has speed, going to have to try to work out a trip. Certainly has the pedigree. A ghost sapper, a street cry, Patrick Husbands, Mark Cassie, good jockey trainer team. He, from the 170 class level, he got a 139 CPR last time out, winning the plate trial. 
solid contender, but th he's going to have to work out a trip. If the pace gets too hot, could be in trouble. Number 11, Wonder Godot. One of the fastest in the stretch, we mentioned that. This one is going to add blinkers today. Six starts this year with four seconds and two-thirds, so no wins this year. Has had some tough luck. Lost a few photos. Uh, got 145 and 148 CPRs in the last two starts. Uh, she's due for some better luck. She, she's certainly a threat on numbers. And then finally, number 14, Napawa. I mentioned that this one's one of the fastest in the stretch. Uh, has run in a couple Woodbine turf um, all-weather routes with a second and a third place finish. Was third last time out on May 20th. Finished up nicely in a race without much pace. Should get more pace help here. 15 to 1 morning line. Live horse to use at least underneath. So here's how we'll play this one. We'll make a win and place wager on number 4, Strike Me Down. Can't pass up those 10 to 1 odds. Then we're going to play an exacta keying uh, and a trifecta keying a couple of long shots in the second and third place position. So our exacta, we're going to use number um, 4, 7, 9, and 10 on top. Let's Strike Me Down, Dixie Moon, Telekinesis, uh, Wonder, uh, Wonder Godot. That's the 4, 7, 10, 11 on top in the exacta. Then we'll, we'll use the 9 and, and the 14 in second. And those are my two long shots, Say the Word uh, and, and the power. Uh, so again, let's get back with those wagers. Number 4 to win in place uh, at, at 10 to 1. And we're going to play an exacta with the 4, 7, 10, 11 over the 9, 14. And then a trifecta. We're going to put the 4, 7, 10, and 11 in first and second. And then we'll use our, our two live sh long shots, the 9 and 14, in the third spot. If you're interested in purchasing this complete Today's Racing Digest for Woodbine for Queen's Plate Day 2018, you can find that at todaysracingdigest.com. Tons of information, multiple stakes races, a huge card, uh, Woodbine, on Queen's Plate Day. And, and you can't go without that complete digest. A lot of information in there that's going to help you and lead you to a lot of winners on Queen's Plate Day 2018. And that will wrap up this week's video. I'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country.